Hi, this is Matt with ApplianceParsPros.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot the top five reasons why your gas dryer is leaving marks on your clothes. Stick around till the end of the video for an important dryer safety tip that most people don't even know about. But before we begin, we're going to make sure the appliance is unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the gas valve at the wall. The first thing we need to inspect is the drum felt seal. It's what keeps the hot air inside the drum. If your clothes are getting marks on them while drying, it's possible the seal is worn out. If it has, then the drum could be lifting up as it turns, allowing the clothes to be pinched between the drum and the bulkhead. Depending upon your design, you could have one felt seal on the back of the drum and one on the front panel, or just one on the front panel, or you could have two seals on the drum itself. Once you have the dryer taken apart, you can visually check the seals. If any of them are worn out or damaged, you'll need to replace them. If you need to order a part, simply go to appliancepartspros.com and type in your model number. Find your part on the easy to read diagrams and match it to the number below. Click on the part if you want to see more pictures of the item or watch its repair video. You can also scroll down to see DIY stories from customers like you or ask a question in the Q&A section. Once you're ready, you can add the part to your cart. It's that easy. Most orders will arrive within two business days. Now we need to look at the front drum glides. They're what the front of the dryer drum rides on. There are a few different styles of glides. Even though they're different, they all do the same thing. They're usually located on the front panel, on the bulkhead, or on the drum itself. Same as the felt seals. If the glides have worn down, the drum may lift up as it turns, pinching the clothes and leaving marks. If you've determined that they're worn out, you'll need to replace them. Next, we need to check the lint screen housing it allows the warm air to circulate through the lint screen. Lint screen housings are found on dryers where the lint screen is located inside the door. All you have to do is open up the door and inspect the housing. If it's cracked or damaged, it could be snagging the clothes as they tumble, leaving marks on them. If the housing is damaged, you'll need to replace it. As always guys, hit those like and subscribe buttons now to help support us making more of these videos. Next on the list are the drum rollers and axles. The drum rollers and axles support the drum as it turns. The rollers have bearings in them that ride on the axles. Depending upon your style, you might have two in the back and two in the front, or just two in the back. If your clothes are getting marks on them, it could be a sign that the bearings have completely failed and the drum is bouncing up and down as it turns. When this happens, the clothes can get pinched between the drum and the bulkhead. When inspecting the rollers and axles, you want to make sure that the rollers spin freely on the axles. If the bearings have failed and you caught it soon enough, the axles may still be okay and you can just replace the rollers. If you need to replace any of the rollers, it's best to replace them all as a set. If any of the axles are scratched up, you can replace them as needed. The last thing to check are the drum baffles. There are usually three of them mounted inside the drum. They help tumble the clothes while the dryer is running. If your clothes are getting marks on them, it could be that the screws have loosened and the clothes are getting caught between the drum and the loose baffle. If that's the case, you'll just have to lift the top up and tighten the screws, but if any of the baffles are damaged, you'll have to replace them. Now here's that safety tip we promised you earlier. Dryers cause thousands of house fires every year. Most of these are caused by a buildup of lint. Lint and dust have a tendency to build up inside the dryer and vent and are the first things to ignite. Make sure your lint screen isn't missing or damaged or will let lint into the vent hose. Also make sure you clean it after every load. If you have the flexible style ducting, it's recommended that you upgrade to the rigid metal kind to prevent lint buildup and the duct from accidentally being crushed. Make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions when installing new venting. Failing to clean the dryer is the number one cause of these fires. So make sure to clean the inside of the dryer, including the lint screen and blower housings, the ducting from the back of the dryer to the wall, and from the wall all the way to the outside of the house at least once a year. Once you take care of the problem, you can plug the appliance in and turn the gas back on. Thanks for joining us for another troubleshooting video brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons now. And if you have any questions or want to share how your repair went, leave a comment down below.